Look at that. I got me a boy. He just there you go. We are on our way up to San Angelo to pick up Spencer from the hospital. And last night we were looking around, but it was dark and really couldn't see. So he was coming from that direction, came up the little curve and the little hill, and then I think I see where he lost control. I think tires were here and there, maybe it's kind of flat, and it's kind of hard to tell though. Um, he took out this little cedar bush here. So he flipped rolled the ATV four-wheeler was stuck on this branch and then another tire was back there on that one where it's all chewed up no he had to cut it there. oh and there's one that was cut this is what broke on the initial oh, okay. force so, so then imagine had his back hit that wow so I mean he was up in this little cave pretty much and all these branches had to be cut, yanked, pulled away. But yeah, this is where he landed. And all, like, these branches were just inches from the ground. But oh. that's where he landed. This is not even... Is it broken? Did he break it or was yeah, it already that was broken? the force of the impact. <sighs> I mean, and that's a big fat cedar branch too. I mean, and it was it was like this because I had to cut this piece off so I could work my way into him because when I got here the ATV was turned upside down like this and I couldn't even see him because all of the branches and everything were in the way so I had to kind of climb on top and then I could see him there and we talked and then I was able you know Tristan and I were able to kind of pull it back this way a little bit and find out that he wasn't gushing blood. But yeah so his head was up there on a downward hill that that far off the road yeah so I, you can kind of see where the grass but went they also, down they also the that's true I mean, there's just, it's really tough to tell. Ooh, that's a big, oh, spider web. Ooh, wait, it's huge. Um, we don't know if he's being released just yet, but it takes about an hour to get there, so. And we gotta drop off clothes to the other kiddos. But, <sighs> we're very thankful. And he definitely had somebody watching over him. Sorry, I was taking a bit of a snooze. We're on the way back from picking up Spencer from the hospital. Had to get prescriptions. Had to get a few groceries while we were in town. So it's it's almost six, and we're getting close to our turnoff. And there's smoke. So there's property on fire. We don't know who's can't tell where. Um, is that smoke right there? trying to see. Okay, it, oh, it seems to be behind us, yeah. or behind our bridge, hopefully. Can we get a break? It'd be great if we could get a break. We don't need to catch fire. Not today, please. So it's right there. So we are right up there, that little bold spot right there. Base camp is just up from there. Crap. And the fire is like right back there. Now right back there could be Right back there could miles. be, exactly. It could be But could be quite a ways away. It could be right back there. Um we were looking at some property before we looked at this one that we were very interested in getting. But when we talked to the realtor they had to take it off the market because it had just caught fire. So they weren't gonna try to sell it. A little bit of gossip around here 
that it is two feuding ranches and they're trying to burn each other out or I uh, we don't know. We um Ben Spencer, already tried did you start it? Spencer did it. Um I wasn't at home. Yeah right. Why is that? Oh uh, so y'all we could use a couple more prayers, you know. We don't need to we don't, we don't need to need catch to. fire right now. Maybe later. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. Oh my goodness, yeah. No, we're not. So, mm, I guess I will update once we get closer up top and we can actually see we'll what's happening. See so. up side of our our pop-up as we're in the middle of dressing or undressing so how was the first night sleeping with an open wounded arm um, I woke up in the middle of the night I just, I, I started crying because my arm was in so much pain and I couldn't stop and he came in there and we took more uh, pain medicine. But I mean, it's okay right now. And that still looks okay. I just got that blood through that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so the incision that they did went all the way to the wrist. Wait, that was no, no, no. Okay, That's no, yeah. Scrapes. I have scratches. cuts and scrapes all over my arms. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like pretty deep. Okay. The okay. incision's right here. I got it. It's underneath this one right here. And up here. So but. they put some tape stuff right, on all of the scrapes. Heal. So actually, right. there's one it's under. Hurt. It's on the pillow. I'm sorry. Alright, you've got quite a few staples underneath. We have yep, to I feel it. Oh. Let's see, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think you have ten underneath and five on the top. So, like 15 staples. Oh, because he said he had to keep going higher and higher to, to find fine. that artery. Oh. Alright. So. Oh, so, they said we could. That's where it went in. Here's where it poked out. And then on this side is where it was poking out. They had to do an incision on both ends so they could explore and make sure that everything was <laughs> copacetic. No, it's just the bottom of my arm because you could, like, the way you took the bandage off it, put on the staples. Okay, but I mean, at least when I'm getting my staples removed, I can actually, like, see the wound. Yeah. See, they're not going to put this in the bar then. Nope. Oh, but, uh, not, to, not to get staples pulled from your skin. I mean, are they going to numb it at least? Yeah. They don't numb it either? They might do a local, uh, topical, but... I know when they pull when they pull stitches out, they don't. I mean, the stitches hurt. Like the stitches hurt when they get pulled out. A little bit, because they, you know, they some some stitches are self-dissolving, and then they, you know, they just they dissolve, they dissolve and then the ones on the outside uh, go away. Or, I mean, fall off once the inside dissolves through. Um, but if they have to like remove the stitches they go in down the incision line and snip them and then pull the thread out
to fall out. Okay, where That's am I at? I'm really dumb, so I don't want to hurt your arm. Good, yeah, I lost it over there, so. Yeah, I don't want to hurt your arm. Yeah, So bad to take off. Probably. That's what you get. I mean, I love you. But we told you to be careful. I don't know why I always have a hard time figuring out which way needs to go. No. Facing out like you had it. Make it hold right, do it like a diaper. Like a super wrestler. Pretty much what he has been doing since he got home. Oh, I think I've woken up. Both the doctor and the pharmacist said that the medicine that he's taking is going to make him sleepy, which is good. Just let him sleep and rest so that he can heal up. But I'm trying to keep him as cool.